Hello, Matt here. Today I'll show you how to tune flash your ECU with MHD tuning software using only your cell phone and a cheap K plus D CAN cable. First up, connect your battery to a charger because this is going to last about 40 minutes. Uh, MHD says it's faster with their wireless cable, wireless interface. But as I said, I'm using this ch cheap Chinese for 20, 25 euro interface, K plus D can. So it does work. I don't mind the time. Now, uh, this is the app. Uh, first thing you need to do is acquire your license. Well, first thing you need to do is buy it. Then acquire the license, connect to the car, it syncs up, and that's it, you're ready to go. Uh, you can do an unlock check. Well, I can tell you, since I already loaded... Oh, no, wait. The car has to... The ignition has to be turned on. So, let's do it once again. As you can see, I can do it remotely by software, no need for to physically unlock the ECU. Now what I'll do is, flash off the shell, uh, MHD of the shell map onto the car. I'm going to put a stage 2 map right now, even though my car is still not stage 2, I do have bigger intercooler and cooler, one step cooler spark plugs. Uh, they do advise for stage 2 to use uh, custom uh, downpipe, but I still haven't made one, hopefully, or stage 2 will be making one, but for now it will do. Now you can tune uh, the options of the map for, depending on the engine you have, uh, there are few options available. We can activate anti-lag, boost target 12 psi, that's okay. Even though I cannot use it because my cruise control is not working. But hey, we can leave it on. As you can see, you can choose the downpipe. Uh, I have a stock downpipe. Uh, remove uh, top speed limiter. You can tune your exhaust uh, burbles. So, pops, bangs and everything. Which, uh, nah, I won't be using. Come to think about it, we can remove this too. I don't really need it right now. Uh, cold start noise reduction. That's a good thing because uh, when the car is cold and you turn it on, it tends to rev up to 2000 RPMs and hold it there for sake of warming up uh, the catalytic converter. I don't want that. A limit power by gear, not needed on uh, this engine. And cooling targets, yeah, you can update uh, the temperature you want your coolant to be at but I'll leave it to stock because this car will not be going to the track soon. Now that all these options are done just to check one more time, yes we just go to map right and in my case uh, since I already unlocked the ECU and did the first long right which took 39 minutes and 12 seconds. Now it should be quite quicker. Uh, I think last time I flashed only the map, it was about five minutes. So as you can see, five minutes left. And once this is done, well, effectively I will have a stitch to map on. So good for that. Uh, that's not the only option you can do. As you saw, you can revert back to stock. Uh, you can just put uh, the stock map back on, so stage 0 map. As I said, I would like to have bigger selection. We'll have to check with MHD about that, if they can enable it. But also you can return your ECU back to stock completely. So there is an option to flash the stock uh, programming, which in theory should be undetectable by BMW. So yeah, if you go for a warranty claim, you can try and do this, but they don't guarantee that uh, BMW will fall for it. So, as always, when mapping a car, you do it on your own risk. Now, there are three things I want to talk about. First one, price. 
299 euros you get the software and you get uh, all the maps so stage one stage two stage zero free maps which is pretty cool it's a very very good price uh, as I said you can load your maps according to what you need for 300 euros I don't think you can find anything better than that uh, that's the first very big plus point second thing uh, well I'm kind of disappointed I already said that there aren't uh, more maps included because I don't really think it wouldn't be that hard to put stage 0, 116, 114 and 118i maps in so you can decide on which one you want to load to your car but okay not everyone would want these maps I'm weird that way and the third thing when reading the options uh, that are available well it's kind of misleading because they said well, when their suit mhd plus suit came out that uh, they will have three options so anti-lag as you saw uh, multi-map and i don't know what was the third one never mind uh, the second one is that uh, interests me uh, it allows you to change maps on fly using your cruise control or bc uh, control uh, in theory they should allow you to choose between four maps so you can let's say i can put it in uh, on the first socket i can put uh, 114i on the second so socket you can put 118i map on the third socket you could put let's say stage one and on the third stage two with all exhaust pipes burbles and everything which would be nice i was really looking forward to it because you can change your car on the fly and choose whatever you want whenever you want now okay you can flash either map you want in five minutes but I don't always have the cable and everything with me and I don't want to be parked for five minutes somewhere just to change the map and that's kind of annoying because I said the description was misleading uh, they said that it's available for the N13 engine but the multi-map function isn't only for I don't know S55 or something some bigger engines Hopefully they will bring it soon, and as I said, if they include uh, all stage zero maps, uh, I will give it 5 out of 5. Right now, let's say it's a 4 out of 5. Oh, I didn't talk about the map. Well, I had stage 1 on it, and I'm quite too happy with the map. Uh, it pulled strong, uh, no brakes, no nothing. I mean, the car behaved like it was stock, only pulled a lot harder. So. As I said, for 299 euros, I'm really happy. If it weren't for these little details, I would give it a 5. But in my books, it's a 4 out of 5 all day. Maybe even a 9 out of 10. Thumbs up for MHD, at least for now. Uh, well, 5 minutes have passed. And as you can see, right time, 5 minutes and 1 second. And the car now has stage 2 map. Uh, I forgot to mention you can also do the monitoring yeah. and you can also do codes, read codes, reset codes. Not just that, there are some tuners that support MHD app, so in theory, I mean not in theory, you can do it. Uh, if you do any other mods and you want to custom map, custom map, uh, you can do a log. Well, first you have to buy the custom map from a tuner then they send you the map you upload it to your car uh do a, one or two logs send them back you repeat the process a few times and in the end you end up with completely custom suited to your car map which is also nice well mostly that's it now what we'll do is turn on the car As you can see, the RPMs didn't go all the way up as I chose that. Now my car is still rattling like crazy. Still haven't got around to doing that, but it should be next on the list. I mean, as you can see, everything works. I would do a pull for you and show you how fast the car is but as I said I still haven't sorted out the rattling and I don't want to drive the car 
if I absolutely don't have to. So for now, that's it. Hope it was helpful. If you did like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel, it means a lot. As always, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.